Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Uh, today we are going to see about genetic algorithm trained and fission PPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification of upcoming videos. Let's start with the implementation of genetic algorithm trained and fission PPT for solar PV system. So for that you need to see the detail of solar PV panel. So, so this is the PV panel rating. The PV panel rating is around 250.2 watts. And then open circuit voltage is 37.3 volt. And then voltage at maximum power point is 30.7. And short circuit current is 8.66 amps. The Current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps, and uh, we need another uh, two more uh, details. That means uh, temperature coefficient, voltage temperature coefficient, and then uh, current temperature coefficient. Okay. So based upon this detail, that means maximum power, open circuit voltage, and voltage at maximum power point, and current at maximum power point, and voltage temperature coefficient, current temperature coefficient. So we need to. Uh, Based upon this detail, basic detail, we need to create the uh, model uh, by some equations. Oof. So this is a coding or uh, equation implemented for that uh, solar PV system or solar PV model. So here you can see that we are indicating that when we are mentioning that short circuit current, the current at maximum power point and then open circuit voltage and then max voltage at maximum power point and alpha beta so alpha nothing but current temperature coefficient beta nothing but the voltage temperature coefficient okay and then standard uh, irradiation and the temperature at the standard test condition is 1000 watts per meter square 20 degrees celsius so here not to train the hand fish, right? So normally hand fish nothing but adaptive neuropathy influence system. That means it consists of uh, um, that mean, uh, both operation neural network and the influence system. Okay. So we have to train that hand fish network. So we need input and output data. So here we are going to collect the input and output data for the training of hand fish system. Okay. So here uh, we are going to collect the input data. That means uh, we are going to collect the temperature and the irradiation. So based upon that when uh, the temperature radiation data we have to generate the uh, different parameters. So here you can see that here we are generating the random uh, temperature and uh, here we are generating random radiation. So based upon uh, uh, temperature minimum and uh, temperature maximum and then irradiation uh, minimum and irradiation maximum. Okay. So based upon that you have to generate the uh, temperature and the irradiation by using this two equation and then this this uh, temperature and irradiation will be passed through that uh, uh, calculating the maximum current maximum voltage the maximum power okay so in this model uh, we are going to take the two input only is irradiation temperature the output will be here we are going to consider only that maximum voltage okay for the different irradiation temperature condition as output okay so here you can see that the input is collected as uh, irradiation temperature. So output is collected as uh, the maximum voltage at uh, different irradiation temperature condition. Okay. So after that, after collecting this 1000 data, right? So we are going to save the data in the matrix PV data dot matrix. Okay. So after that, we are going to execute the GA and tuned and fish. That means genetic algorithm to into adaptive neuropathy inference system. So once it comes here, right after executing this command, it comes to this line. That means this program this comes to G and fish that Okay. So here we are going to load the data. First we need to load the data. That means data is, can be taken from here, right? PV PV data dot matrix. Okay. So here we will load the data. So for the data, we are going to initially generate the fuzzy inference system. Okay. 
so here we are going to generate the initial fuzzy inference system based upon that data and then we are going for uh, training the uh, that fuzzy inference system by using GA algorithm okay. and then here we are going to that mean uh, when this instruction is executed right this comes to this program right so this is a program for uh, uh, training that and face is using GA right so this is a program for training that uh, adapting your know, fuzzy inference system so after training right so it will generate the fuzzy inference system so that uh, system will be um, trained here right that means here we are going to evaluate the trained uh, fuzzy inference system ok finally we got to plot the response for the training data and then the trained fuzzy inference system or adapting your fuzzy inference system is going to be tested with the test data okay. so now i am going to simulate or execute this program so here you can see that the ga will be started ga is trained and we train the adapting your fuzzy inference system okay. So here total number of iteration we are consider this maximum iteration is 1000 and then ma maximum population or parameter number of population is 25 okay so after 1000 iteration we are getting the network so now the program is completed that means GA is completed the program okay so this is a, the detail of testing and training okay so here you can see that so this is a, a training data that mean uh, voltage at maximum power point uh, for the different irradiation temperature condition okay and also here you can see this is the error right I mean mean squared error so this is standard deviation okay uh, this is a test data that been uh, that been trained uh, adapting your fuzzy seeing process was tested with the test data so this is uh, both will be superimposed each other you can see that target and output will be superimposed each other so this is a, a tested uh, error right mean squared error and uh, standard deviation okay so after that after training process okay so finally we will get the fuzzy inference system here here you can see that this is the final fuzzy inference system so you can see that detail in the fuzzy toolbox so we have to import from the workspace from workspace okay just you type fis because the file name is fis okay So this is a trained detail for the adapting your fuzzy input system. Okay. So this file will be used for implementing MPPT in the sibling model. So let's with this let's start discuss with that uh, implementation. So here you can see that so this overall model for that uh, GA trained and PC MPPT algorithm for solar PV system. So already explain about these things right that means solar PV rating and then <clears throat> here you can see that so this is boost converter right the boost converter is connected between the solar PV and the load okay here you can see that we are going to measure the PV detail that means we are going to measure PV voltage and the current In GA trained and this algorithm, we see the PV voltage. So here you can see that that and this right, the trained GA trained and this is placed here. It will be received two inputs right. 
irradiation and temperature. So the output will be the voltage at maximum power point. And here we are measuring that the actual voltage of the PV panel. So both will be compared here, right? Actual PV voltage and the voltage at maximum power point. So after that we are getting the error voltage here and then it is going to be processed via PA controller. So this PA controller will be generated the duty cycle. Okay. So this duty cycle is going to be processed via PWM generator. The PWM generator generates the pulse for this IGBT in order to control the boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PA. Okay. So this is the implementation of GA trained IMPs algorithm. Now we are going to see about the simulation results for the GA trained and fish EBT algorithm. So here I am going to fix the irradiation equal to 1000 and then temperature equal to 25 degrees Celsius and then I am going to change the load every 0.3 seconds. Okay. So I am going to change the value of R value that means load resistance value every 0.3 seconds and I am going to check the response whether the GA trained and fish MBPT algorithm is extract the maximum power during that load distance, right? So I'm going to simulate this model. So the Test condition is uh, 1000 watts per meter square into dp degrees Celsius. So, uh, PV panel maximum power is around 250 watts, right? So, GA trained uh, and PCB PD should uh, track the, uh, that means extract the maximum power around 250 watts, okay? You will check the response of the system. So here you can see that the maximum power is nearer to 250 watts, right? So that GA and FIS MBPT is extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So every 0.3 second, I, that means load is added in the system. So here you can see that even though the load variation, right, the maximum power is extracted from the system from, from GA and FIS MBPT. So here you can see that the variation of PV voltage, PV load voltage. So this is PV current and then load current. So this is PV power and the load power, right? So for load variation condition also, the solar power is extracted at maximum point okay, by using a GA trained and PCBPT. So now I'm going to change the this condition that means I'm going to change the irradiation for every 0.2 seconds, right? So I'm going to vary the irradiation from 1800, 600, 400, and 200 for every 0.2 second. I'm going to check the results. Here, for the testing, I'm going to fix the, the load condition as constant, and then I'm going to check the response. So initially that irradiation is 1000 watts per meter square. So here you can see that it's extracted at maximum point. So after point to second, the irradiation changes to 800. The maximum power is around 200 watts. So after point to second, the irradiation is fixed at 600. So the maximum power is 150 here. After 0 0.6, 0 0.6 seconds, the radiation changed to 400. Here we are getting 100 watts. And then after 0.8 seconds, the radiation changed to 200. So here we are getting 50 watts, right? So we need to check the results with the actual heat time.
for 1000 watts per meter square right the maximum power is 250.2 so here you, you, you can see that we are getting the maximum power around 250 watts for 800 watts per meter square is the maximum power is point maximum point is 199.9 so here also you can see that we are getting the maximum point right and then here you can see that for 600 the maximum point is 149.6 so here you can see that we are getting around 59 watts for 400 is around 98.97 theoretically and in simulation we are getting around 98 watts for 200 is around 48 so here you can see that we are getting 48 watts right so the ga trained ion phase ppt is extract the maximum power for changing irradiation condition also so this is the working of uh, GA trained and piece MPPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So this is the working of uh, GA trained and piece MPPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.